Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Dance Ballet series. The last video introduced the famous dance educator, the representative of the Russian school, Vaganova. Today, let us into two well-known Russian ballet actresses, Anna Pavlova and Ulanova. The classical ballet Death of Swan is familiar to many audiences and that classic image was created by the outstanding ballet performer, Anna Pavlova. Pavlova was a superstar in ballet world at the beginning of the 20th century. She had devoted her life to ballet. Anna Pavlova (1881–1931) was born into a poor family in St. Petersburg. Her father was a rural soldier, her mother worked as a laundromat. Pavlova entered the St. Petersburg Dance School at the age of 10 and she later joined the Mariinsky Theater Ballet, where she quickly rose to the top of the cast over four years. In 1909, she was invited to join Ballet's Russes where she collaborated with artists such as Fokine and starring in such as plays Le Pavillon d'Armide and Les Sylphids. Pavlova made her debut in Paris during the Russian show season. In 1910, she began to run her own ballet company and toured the world. During her 20-year tour, Pavlova has traveled to more than 40 countries including the United States, Canada, Australia, Sweden, China, Egypt, South Africa, Uruguay and Chile. She would wear more than 2,000 point shoes every year. There was a critic who analyzed the secret of her success, she's either in the training or the way in the rehearsals, and she never stops although she has had so much achievements. During Pavlova's ballet career, she has created countless artistic images in a large number of classical ballets including Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, The Nutcracker, Ramonda, Giselle, Le Sylphid, Egyptian Night, Death of the Swan, and so on. Her dance promoted development of ballet in many countries. Her extraordinary dance skills also affected many people, and even many famous dancers fell in love with ballet watching her performance such as Ashton, a famous British choreographer, was shocked when he saw Pavlova perform in Ecuador at the age of 14. Fokine, the modern ballet choreographer, once said, the important role of Pavlova is that it changed people's view of ballet in the 20th century. It proves that ballet should be the highest meaning form of language. Pavlova's most famous work is The Death of Swan, a solo work that touched the soul. The work was created by Russian choreographer Michel Fokine. When the cello played the quiet and melancholy melody, a white swan appeared on the lake quietly. It wanders sadly under the bright moonlight. It bowed the head, shook the wings, mustered all her strength again and again to spread her wings. She wanted to fly but was powerless. The exhausted white swan yearns for the freedom and the sky. Slowly, she straightened her waist and began to spin as if the light of life had re-emerged. However, the life can no longer be saved after then. The body becomes quiet. The gentle wings caress the beautiful feathers for the last time. That beautiful image has transformed into a sad song of life. Death of a swan has no high-level techniques. Pavlova present the vivid swan with her delicate performance and extraordinary dance skills. It actually proves that dance is not simply an entertaining art, but an art that can explore the depths of the soul. The Death of Swan is constantly making changes and most of what we can now enjoy is the famous Soviet actor Polsetskaya's version. Her performance of The Death of a Swan has been performed nearly a thousand times. Pavlova died in January 1931 as she prepared for a performance in Netherlands. At that time, the Royal Ballet was performing, and after the sad news came, the conductor of the band continued to announce that Anna Pavlova performs Death of a Swan. The music rang through the theater, but only the stage lights were moving slowly and leaves the empty stage. Although Pavlova went, she will always be the perfect white swan. Another Soviet ballet master, Ulanova, Ulanova Galina Sergevna 1910-1998, was born into a ballet family in St. Petersburg. Her mother, Romanova, was a ballet dancer, and his father, Yulanov, was a ballet director. Ulanova studied at Leningrad Dance School from 1919 to 1928, and the main teacher was her mother in Vaganova. After graduation, Ulanova was a leading actor at the Kirov Opera and Dance Theater Ballet, 1928 to 1943, and the Moscow Theater Ballet, 1944 to 1960. In 1962, she left the stage and became the principal instructor of the Moscow Theater Ballet. Ulanova showed a unique artistic talent since she was young. She is flexible, graceful, strong music sense and better understanding to the movement and view of beauty. Vaganova carefully helped her balance the development of the techniques, overcame the physical limits. 
This learning experience gradually formed her own unique performance style laid an important foundation. Ulanova has been dancing on stage for more than three decades, visiting dozens of countries, and creating countless classic dance images including the Polish princess who played in the dance drama Bach Cesarei S. Tears Springs. Since then, she has played the White Swan in The Swan Lake, Romeo and Juliet, The Death of the Swan, Les Silphids, Giselle, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella and other works. Among them, Ulanova's role in Swan Lake, Ojeda were perfectly presented with elegant and flexible, clean and smooth dance skills and a deep understanding of the soul of the character. She has vividly expressed and shaped an incredible white swan. The white swan became a classic image of Ulanova. The critic Zavatsky once described her as the only, non-repeatable, incomparable ballet dancer in modern ballet. In Giselle, Ulanova's performance lets people see her high level of techniques. The British ballet critic Ahaska said, Ulanova's Giselle is so meaningful. Only poets and philosophers can give her the evaluation. In 1944, when Ulanova became the chief dancer of the Bolshoi Theatre Moscow when it became the center of classical ballet in the world. Ulanova's international reputation is high and is regarded as one of the iconic figures of ballet in the 20th century. As a result of Ulanova's outstanding contribution to the ballet of the former Soviet Union, she was twice awarded and won the Lenin Prize and the former Soviet State Prize. Ulanova is not only talented, but also humble, self-motivated, and hardworking. She has a high work ethics and pay attention to self-cultivation, and constantly enrich herself from literatures, music, and painting. Next video, we will introduce another famous choreographer, George Balanchine. He was recognized as the father of American ballet. Why this Russian master would come to the US? How did he develop his career here? Thanks for your compliments and positive comments. Welcome to tell us your questions during the study of dance. I leave the contact in the description area. We'll see you next time.